Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back here with the next episode of the Soldier Series of Mass Effect 3. Before we get in the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you can be notified of all my videos. We're going to get down to it. So I'm going to need to load game here. Right here. I was having trouble. I was trying to record this episode earlier and I was having trouble. Um, it was lagging really bad and ended up having to restart my computer. So now it's running a lot better. So I'm just thinking my computer just needed a reboot. So. Come on, why are you taking forever to load? You usually don't take this long to load. Let's give it a few seconds here, let it render. Now, I'm thinking it doesn't like Javik's room because of all the stuff in it. There we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Down the shuttle bay. see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. You were talking to him when the collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the Collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits, there's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but, well, to be honest, I've never felt as alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here, anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard, I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Okay. So I'm going to buy the Defender armor.
And I'm gonna get the non human meta gel upgrade as well. May as well. And then we're gonna set up the um armor set to the defender. Yes, we lose health, but we gain ammo capacity and weapon damage and a little bit of shield boost. So Beans were a soldier, all we do is shoot things. So Okay. Hackett said, oh, I sent some armor to you. Okay, we can get out of here. We're going to head over to the Happy and Crest. We're going to explore there first, and then we're going to get the Turian Primarch. Stop off fuel depot just to get some fuel. Always get your resources. Always. Always, always, always. Nothing. Signal confirmed. I know where it is. Right there. Evasion successful. There we go. And then we'll just come back in here, grab this wreckage. There we go. Reapers eluded. Head on down to the next one. Four of them here, I think. Or maybe only two, I'm not sure. Something. There they all are. All right, cool. There we go. Okay, we got the Torturian 79th Flotilla as a war asset now. We'll take that. And then we're going to fill up on fuel again, and then we're going to rescue the Primark. There we go. Get the fitness up. We're gonna do melee damage. Do up to level two for warp ammo. Warp needs to be up to three for Liara, and we'll save points for James so we can get his fortification up. Yeah, there we go. This game's running better now. Yep, that's what my computer needed. Just needed a reboot.
Oh no. No. Palavin. We have an old friend there. Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now she's running good. I don't know why I was having trouble with glitching, but... Okay. Yeah, I'm getting glitches. I'm... I don't know why it's lagging so damn much, but it is for some reason. Come on, stop lagging. Please. Thank you. Stop lagging, please. Get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Vardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard. Heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedori. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's going to complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advance position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, Contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. I see the comm tower. To the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go! Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, I was wondering. It's like, what the hell? Why can't we go anywhere? All right. Hello. Hey, 
There we go. Bastard huts. We can't repair it from this panel. Liara, see if you can repair it. I'll go up and have a look. If you can keep husks from climbing up behind me, I'd appreciate it. Here they come. Ready, James? Hell yeah! Let's take them! These husks, you don't want to be, um, you don't want to be sniping, because they come out of nowhere and they're fast. There we go. They're good for shotguns, though. Using shotguns against. Look at me, light him up. <laughs> wow. Commander Shepard, come in. Go ahead. I have information from Palavan Command. Please return ASAP. On our way. Here we go. Let me make sure there's nothing else hidden over here, because you never know. There's an item right there I just saw. Doink. Data pad from Commander Hexner. Supplies, they sent us winter gear. Not sure what they thought we'd do with that kind of gear here, but I suppose we should thank the spirits nonetheless. The power sources can't be cannibalized and converted to power our combat gears filtering units instead. At least, it'll, it'll be nice not to have those clogging up anymore. Bad kit. There, there ain't nothing else here because you never know. You never know. It doesn't look like there's anything else, but you know, you gotta check. Which there is none. Okay, ooh, there's the Viper. Let's continue, data pad. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Oh shit! Look who it is! Garrus! Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavan. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavan. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? 
His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tetris, during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the Rebels took. Then the Rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Okay. We need to get Garrus set up. They still consider him a Turian rebel. Huh. We got weapon damage. For you, we're going to do your power damage. And then we're going to do um, squad bonus. Even though he only does power, but still wouldn't hurt. All right. Overload. We'll get you to three. We'll get your proximity mine up to three as well. Then we'll get your armor piercing up to two. There we go. Perfect. Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Adrenaline's better than oxygen any day. Just me? Or those Reapers look like Turians? You're right. They do. That was a nice shot through those legs. Damn right, we took him down. I think we're done here. That was a that was badass shooting right there. Hell yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm checking around for items. You never know, there might be a hidden item or two here. Because we found that magazine upgrade for the assault rifle. This is my rifle. This is my gun. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I can't watch that full. I can't watch Full Metal Jacket, the full movie, for some reason. I can only make it through boot camp. Then after that, it gets stupid, you know? It 
same with Saving Private Ryan. Um, I can't get through that whole movie either because um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I can only make it through the beginning of Omaha Beach, and that's it. You know. Then after that, I just get bored with it. Come in. Go ahead. Still trying to raise the Primarch, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. If the Reapers breach it, we're done. On my way. One movie I do enjoy watching is Happy Gilmore. <laughs> All right, we're coming up the turret here. Don't be on top. Like I can't use the turret very well anymore because Yes, you get infinite ammo with it, but there. It's our worst fucking nightmare. Oh, shit! There, we killed it. Shepard, Corinth is here. What's the word on the Primarch? Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. There we go. We got rid of that. We got rid of that fucking brute. I'll tell you. That, <laughs> that was a great bit of shooting on that brute. <laughs> We're saving for... We'll save for overload for Garrus too. Okay, yep. How far? Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. Up we go. Come on, Gears. Damn it. Look at Palavin. That blaze of orange. The big... That's where I was born. That's rough. Still have family there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. You're putting up a good fight. For now. But how long does it take before the fight's kicked out of you? They'd only listen to your warnings about the Reavers. You might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. All right.
Okay, this way. Here we go. Hello. Not more back here. Shit, I hate those things. And New York is crawling with the creepy bastards? Uh, I never should have left Earth. It's gonna be bad all over. Leaving the fight just pisses me off. But you're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice in some boardroom. Yeah, that's true. Chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. Soldier, you okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago. And it's south. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. There we go. We got some stuff there. Hell yeah, we'll take all that. Look out! That was a little closer than I'd like. I'll say. So, Loco, you really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Salarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. Yeah, that's true. Another med kit for experience. That sounds bad. Okay, double time. No Reapers taking this Primark from me. Right behind you. See if we can get a good shot in. There we go. Look at that brute. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Didn't even need that black star. General Victus. Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. A commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. 
Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian Hierarchy? Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is deceptive. Can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah, I don't know, Garrus. But I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. Yeah, tell me about it. Before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me. I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our lines would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Okay. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship, and for going along with this plan. Garrus said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. 
Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari Counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavan. And mine with Earth. Okay. So now I gotta go around and talk to everybody. Oh, what's going on here? He just went offline. What do you mean, offline? I don't know. She's not responding. I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. Okay, so now we get to go see what's going on in the AI core, which is through the med bay. Automated systems have the fires contained. It should be safe to enter. We'll follow your lead. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. It could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. <laughs> oh, shit. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever tests you can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy, to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. Right? An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. Yeah, he would. That we can agree. He totally would. <laughs> Seeing the same numbers myself, they don't look good. We have to turn this around and fast. 
Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's him. He's an old friend of Erdnot Rex. Let's just hope friendship still counts for something in this war. I'm sure it will, sir. Okay, I just want to see. Oh, I ain't got near as much money as I thought. Garrus, didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're going to need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember. A certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you under the table. Ah! Something else you want to talk about? That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. <laughs> oh, finally! God, that sneeze was stuck in me. You're positive you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus? I'll be fine, Leora. Just gathering some thoughts. All right. Hello again, Shepard. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been exciting. The old broker's ship. Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Farron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to you, Doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. Okay. So the Alliance is interrogating somebody. It's a Cerberus operative. Uh, check out these implants she's got jammed in her into her face. Sh she's awake. Hello, do you know where you are? I I'll let you read this because it it's kind of weird to read this. Pretty much what's going on is um, 
the Alliance is trying to figure out what Cerberus is doing to their soldiers. Rothian notes 2186, Century 1. The things that this Prothean must have seen, if they had the technology to preserve someone for over 50,000 years, no wonder they were capable of building things like the device on Mars. I must give him time to get his bearings, but goddess, when will we get another chance to learn so much about their civilization? And entry 2 for 2186. I'm not sure what to make of Javik. I approached him while we were traveling to a different system, but he wasn't very inclined to talk. What little he does say concerns the Reapers and our possible failure. Is he simply a soldier mourning his people, or is it a fundamental difference in our cultures? Do we have any upgrades? We do. We do. Um, we're going to do door discount. Hell yeah. At your service. Save some money. See if James has anything to say. Keep forgetting I should look at the map. Oh, and we need to talk to Diana. Yeah. What the hell's up with Edie? She's found a new home, I guess. A super hot, sexy home. You take her on a mission, I'm gonna be just a little bit distracted. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. So, I'm a loco, huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty crazy, but the shit you've done? <laughs> makes me look sane. I'll talk to you later. You bet. Okay, so I'm gonna fix up my loadout here. There we go. We'll increase my rounds. Does less damage. There we go. saying they survived into this cycle? Yes. We called them Collectors. They fought for the Reapers. For a long time, no one knew they were Prothean. And when did you realize? Shepard had no choice but to kill the ones he encountered. They were all indoctrinated, and had been for a long time. I'm sorry. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Yes. I suppose it was. I am feeling better, Commander. I stand ready to fight. Okay. So Javik will be ready to come with us. We'll bring him next mission. But first we'll go to the Citadel. You mean the biggest story in 50,000 years that I can in no way talk about? Say so yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. Who's Mick was that? She has got some curves. Okay. First things first is we're going to go back to the Citadel because we need to hit the Spectre office. Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. 
I do not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension Project is the best training facility in the galaxy for human biotics. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call, so normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer. Good catch. Thank you, Commander. Okay, we'll talk to Joker and Edie, and then we'll... We'll hit Grissom Academy next. We'll, we'll be alright. Because we need money. Hey, Commander. Check out my co-pilot. So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? <laughs> Come on, Commander. Don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! I would have baked a cake. I am right here, Jeff. <laughs> yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. <laughs> I'll be over here, flying the ship. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. Okay. You have a message from Lieutenant Commander Williams. She must be feeling better. Okay, so Arya Talok wants us to meet her in the purgatory. She wants to talk to us. Uh, Ashley Williams. She doesn't know how to say this, but Udina wants her to be a specter. So she wants us to meet her at the hospital because she's going crazy. Okay. 
Um, here's a specter sending us some, um, sending us a message. While still have, while some still have concerns about your past activities with Cerberus, many of us inspectors took your warnings about the Reaper seriously. I'm reaching out to you because I have information that could tie agents with significant political power to the Reapers. If you have time to meet me in the Citadel Embassy, I, I'd appreciate your discreet assistance. Okay. Um. Thane sent us a message. Separate. I've called and I've sent messages, but I've gotten but gotten no response. With Earth's comm system out, I don't expect this will get through either. But I heard a rumor the Normandy docked here at the Citadel. Are you alive? I'm at uh, the hospital under the name Anner Nuara. Please excuse excuse the moniker and this email's encryption in my line of work. It is unwise to advertise my location particularly when I'm not in good health. We should meet before the circumstances force us to apart again. And then, um, Hackett's telling us about Dr. Bryson. She's, um, she's researching the Reapers, so he wants us to check that out. And Aria wants us to take back Omega from Cerberus. Okay, we'll go back to the Citadel, it looks like. Well, maybe not. Maybe we'll do Grissom Academy first, and then we'll go back to the Citadel. Make sure we got... Ooh, the Strike Abyssal. We'll need you. So we can get that one thing that the, um, that that one guy was wanting. <laughs> Use me. I don't know why I'm yawning. I got a decent night's sleep. There's the Prothean Obelisk that he was looking for. Faster than light jump successful. There it is. Evasion successful. We found it. I know it's just fuel, but still. I like getting all the assets. It just makes me feel better. Reapers eluded. I found something. Take those credits. Oh, yeah. There it is. I found it. We'll take the fuel. And we'll get out of here. So then light jump successful. The Minos Wasteland. We need to check out what's over here. Found him. Cool. Guy. Okay. 
Yep, we are 100% so far. Great. So we'll go rescue the students real quick. At Grissom Academy. Davik. And you give power. You give weapon. You give power. You give shields. We'll do you, why not? <laughs> we don't need power really that much. Um, okay. You are getting your particle rifle. Oh, no. You're the one that needs the particle rifle. You're the one that needs the Avenger. Alright, there we go. There we go. There you go. All right. Another one for fitness. We'll do shield recharge. We'll do overload. Do chain overload for you. And then we'll max out vengeful Ancient for Davik here. Power damage for you. Weapon damage for you. This would be a good setup if we had Liara with us. But since we're a soldier, we need um, the shield recharge speed. So we'll go to three, two, three, a full. One, two, there we go. All right, Javik's all set up. And there's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSV Normandy, this is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? <laughs> oh, boy, can I? Come
Keep the shuttle in position. We'll be back. Okay. Tell me I don't know how to take out enemies. Shit. Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations, working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met, God, what's it been? 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here... Well, just tell him to stay alive. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed, but the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique... resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. Fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring him back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. Okay. I'll get the door for you. It leads to Orion. Oh shit, what's going on here? Maybe more nearby. Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kaylee Sanders in security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. Make sure there's nothing here. Personal log, instructor log. The kids are getting better at this shit, but I'm worried. I don't think they we've got enough time to pull this off, and there's just no way they could really survive out there without way more training. Not without any field experience at all. Doing my best to get them ready. Didn't think I'd ever care this much, but I won't let any of one hurt them. They're my kids, mine. Okay.
There we go. I'm just looking around for stuff like this right here. This eviscerator. I want that. It's a free shotgun. It's a free shotgun. Hell yeah. She's injured. If you wish to save her, act quickly, though it could delay us. Sean, can you hear me? How do you know my name? I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. Okay. Take those credits, hell yeah. Commander, I just got an emergency message from the students in Orion Hall. One of our instructors is with them, but they can't hold out much longer. Oh shit, it's Jack! Jack? Shepard? Shooting Shepherd? Shit. I don't know why the hell you weren't shooting. Cerberus isn't gonna lie down out of pity like that girl you took to prom. Uh. Grab juice and an energy bar. We move in five. <clears throat> uh. Damn it. How many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus has killed. As charming as ever. Good to see you again, Garrus. It still looks like shit. Okay, right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing Hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently, the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic! I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. 
Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, sir. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. How does camera access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep Cerberus from boxing you in. There it is. Data log, high priority target. Frankly. Status, capture priority alpha, bring back alive at all costs. Vital retrieval subject due to high level biotic abilities paired with high leadership testing scores. Considered prime candidate for indoctrination and high level enhancements for subs subsequent long term infiltration relocation. Sanders, you should have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. You really think you're getting out of here? Take that for scissor scope. There's the door override, but I wanna. Our teacher worked with Commander Shepard. That's pretty badass. Yeah. I wonder why she never mentioned it. Got it. You should be able to force the door open now. I'll get to the shuttles ahead of you and get a pair ready to fly. I think I pulled a muscle in my brain. Just drink your juice. Okay. Hey, let me know when we've got a new way off this station. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Good. Everyone be ready. We'll go in first and draw their fire. We'll shadow you from the second level and hit those Those guys from above. A useful tactic. They would avoid direct fire. Just time your shots and stay safe. All right. I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now. Keep low. Pick your targets. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be half. <sighs> Asshole. Damn it. They're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on, Rodriguez. They're only asking nicely because you scared them in that last fight. So take your balls out of your purse and kick some ass. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Let's go. Oh shit, I didn't realize there was an atlas here. Boom, that's how you do that. But too bad somebody shot my fucking... Uh. Up here. Boom, that's how you do that. Hell yeah. Ooh, through the smoke. Put down. Right, where are these fuckers?
There we go. Took them out without much trouble. <laughs> I do want to check. Make sure there's nothing else here. It doesn't look like there is anything else here. But you never know. Never know. Get up there because we need the high ground. Okay. I don't see anything else here, so... That's how you take out both of them without... <laughs> I took them both out without firing a single shot. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy and I've got no reason to buy it now. The square root of 906.01 equals... 30.1. Hello, Commander Shepard. David, you know him? Yes. He rescued me from Cerberus. Sent me here. He made it quiet. You did a great job keeping yourself safe. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Uh, thanks. He looks better. I remember you. Normandy crew. Sorry. It was never your fault. Has Grissom Academy been all right? Yes. I've been counting. Anything in particular? The number of days you lengthened my life. The security office. I hacked the lock. Guns. Lots of guns. Goodbye. We saved, there was David Archer that we saved. 
now we're gonna come in here to the armory and pick up some stuff. We got the piercing mod, the mattock. Which James ends up using. That one's not a bad one to put the precision scope on. Oh. I'm just looking for, like I said, items. There's the biotic amp. Ramp interfaces. Not as good as what we already have, but still worth a look. All right. Up and over. For a chest piece. There we go. Kill that guy. We'll use the Atlas. Boom! There we go. Ugh. Got a was cool fighting Atlas with Atlas. <laughs> Kaylee, how's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? She needs covering fire.
Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <clears throat> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am! I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. They're definitely ready. But the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes! We don't need another artillery unit. We need stronger barriers for our frontline squads. This is bullshit! Hey, if that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides, I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Hey, Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f Flight Lieutenant. <laughs> what the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. Would she have a swear jar or something? Cause I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. Oh, come on. Why'd they censor Jack? Shepard. Damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. Sir, I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. Then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer, and we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack, well, I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Okay. Well, I'm going to call it for this video. We got that all dealt with at Grissom Academy and all, the, and we got the, the Turian Primark. So I'm going to call it for this video. So hope you all had fun this episode. I did, and I'll see you on next episode.